Yeah, it's your boy. Look, I get it. We've been starving. We've been wanting that that triple A experience that we haven't felt since last gen. You know what I'm saying? It has come far and few between this generation. I think we can all agree. Last generation was kind of a pinnacle. This one is a little disappointing. And that's because we've been fed a whole bunch of polygons and compute units. And I'm going to get in, in, uh, into all of that in my next video, right? But with that said, I think because we're, we're, we're so desperate, we're now looking to groups who maybe in the past have been top notch, but right now ain't got it. All signs of that is right in front of us, but we want to ignore them signs. You know what I'm saying? Because we just we, we, we just want to live off of nostalgia, okay? Now, what I'm about to talk about today is going to show you why. When it comes to one particular group and one particular game the community's been asking for, we need to simply curb our enthusiasm. But before I get too far into that, hey, yo, what's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications, please. You know what I'm saying? So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Okay, so what, what am I talking about? What is MM2K ranting and raving about now? You know what I'm saying? Foaming at the mouth about now. Look, let's just start here. And follow me. Follow your boy. Because you know I, I, I bring it all together at the end. The game that I want to start with is Aliens Colonel Marines. Alright. I get. I know. Old game. 2013. Large last generation. In, in a lot of cases or whatever. Late last generation. But just follow your boy. Here's the deal. Recently for Aliens Colonel Marines. It was found. Well let me go back a little bit. Aliens Colonel Marines was developed by Gearbox, was published by Sega. Gearbox and Sega collaborated. There was a whole bunch of controversy around the game because um, what was marketed to a lot of investors that put money into this game wasn't the same thing that came out at the end. And, and, and um, reviewers just hated on the game, mainly because the AI. AI, they said, was stupid, was dumb. It, it, it really didn't bring the engagement and the excitement that they thought they was going to get in, in the final product. As a result, lawsuits were brought up. Randy Pitchford ran the, 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 the Twitter crowd. Oh, man, Gaming Streets, don't do this to me, man. Oh, y'all talking bad about your boy. Oh, I mean, it was just a big mess. At the end of the day, Randy skated the, the, the um, lawsuits. Sega paid off the investors $1.2 million. Everybody went their own happy way, right? But here's the thing. All that ruckus and all that whoop to do could have been avoided. Because the thing that made that AI the biggest problem with the game so bad was discovered not too long ago. So here goes the story. Alien Colonel Marines AI was broken by a single typo. A recent investigation has revealed. James Dickinson, a developer working on an overhaul for the game, discovered a typo in a .ini file. Instead of reading Tether, T-E-T-H-E-R, the code was written as Tether, T-E-A-T-H-E-R. What's more, correcting the typo seems to have vastly improved alien AI and game. Rather than running directly at the player, the Tether aliens use cover and generally, generally display smarts, something they were slammed for in original reviews. Literally. Alien AI consists of having Xenomorph run to attack you in a straight line was one of the things that was written about the, the game's flaws back in the day. It's probably the case of a discovery found way too late to be of any help, but if you're keen on firing up the PC version and playing the game as it was actually intended, you can find out more on the fix over at Reset Era. Alien Colonel Marines was published back in 2013 for Windows, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. Okay, so here's the deal, people. Why is this important? Because it was rumored in that lawsuit that Randy Pitchfork and company took the money from the investors and instead of really focusing and doing the QC and, 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 and going from, from head to toe over this game to making sure that it was a very good product, that they spent that money on Borderlands 2, which ended up being a commercial success for the company. Now, <laughs> not finding a simple I and I dot I and I uh, typo like this may be evident of that. But Randy Pitchfork cried foul. So let's play devil's advocate. All right. So even if 
this was just some some way off situation. Then you got to look at uh, uh, Gearbox and Randy Pitchford's efforts since then, right? You had Duke Nukem around that same time that was mired in controversy. Trash. Then you had them trying to milk the cash cow again with Borderlands the prequel. Mediocre. Trash. All right. And then you had them uh, um, doing their version of the Overwatch series with Battleborn. You can find that in five and below stores uh, uh, quickly after release. Trash. You know what I'm saying? Then they tried to re they went and got Bullet Storm, tried to revamp that and re-release -re that. People said it was, you know, better, but did it get any traction? No, trash. So basically what I'm trying to say to you people is that all of y'all putting y'all eggs in the basket of one particular game called Borderlands 3. Come on, y'all gotta wake up now. Look, I originally was a Border Border Borderlands 1 fanboy. I was so in love with the game. I had it on every platform available. I even went to the midnight release of Borderlands 2. Now, me in particular, I didn't like Borderlands 2 because I thought it sacrificed a lot of the ingenious gameplay for the sake of telling the, telling the story for some dude named Handsome Jack mining rocks on the moon. God, come on, man. But anyway, let's just play devil's advocate and say I like Borderlands 2. Everything, every subsequent title behind that, every subsequent project behind that, even We Happy Few, anything in the clutches of Randy Pitchfork and Gearbox has been mired in controversy or just mediocre, meh, trash, trash, all right? So what I'm trying to tell you people is all the sides are there, all the stars are aligned. It looks like Borderlands 3, yeah, I'm going to say it, it's going to be trash. It's going to be toilet chunks. It's going to be doo-doo soup. <laughs> and that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, like I always tell you, that's right, I said it, get at me. You can either come with me or you can come at me. Whatever you feel, leave it in the comment section below. And, yo, if you like what you heard, you know where to find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard, you know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. Yo, I got a show with your boy TRS. It's called Scram Punks. We do it Wednesdays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Check us out on the pntsnetwork.com for more details or go simply to iTunes and look for Scram Punks, all one word, or really your favorite podcast provider. We're there. And last but not least, support my brethren, the broadband bullies. You know what I'm saying? Check out that Patreon link. You know what I'm saying? We can't do this without your support. And also, you can rock with us on the Discord, man. That Discord is popping. And last but not least, check that gear that we got. Check the link for the gear. It's fly. And as always... Stay the hell out the garbage. Leave it for the raccoons. You have a wonderful gaming day.